Meu nome é Silvana. My name is Silvana. I am 58 years old and I am a retired teacher. I used to face many battles in my marriage, in my family, in my financial life. Nothing would progress. My marriage was very troubled. It was very burdensome. I suffered in my marriage and did not have the direction to deal with the battles that I faced. I had problems with my husband, and we lived in a constant state of war at home. I always sought for justice in my life because I wanted to know why I was suffering so much. But I never found it. I went to many churches. I would go to one place and then to the next, but not to the universal church because of the media and all the bad things that was being said about it. I didn't want to go there. The media would convey that Bishop Macedo was a thief and that the people who went to the church were brainwashed. Soon after, Bishop Macedo was arrested. That really stood out. I couldn't understand how people were still in front of the prison praying for him. One evening I was watching television. It was past midnight and I was alone because my husband had abandoned our home. In my emptiness, desperation and sadness, I turned the television on and whilst I was browsing the channels, I came across a testimony. I kept watching to see which church that testimony was from that matched my suffering at the time. I told God, God, I will go to the church that this young lady went to, because if you changed her life, you will change mine as well. In that very moment, the logo of the Universal Church appeared. I said, my goodness, I'll have to go there now. I went there with the Bible under my arm. I said, I want to see if they preach what is written in the Bible, because if they don't preach what is written here, I'll never go there again. My first meeting was a love therapy meeting. Been separated, sick, distressed and bitter. I was laden with everything that was bad that day. I remember it like it was today. The meeting finished and the pastor very lovingly came to speak to me. He opened the Bible and asked me to read a verse. I read it as if I was reading the verse to my pupils. I remember that he said, Miss, forgive me, you are a teacher, but you don't know how to read the Bible. You can't read the Bible like that. My goodness, that stood out for me. Me, a teacher, didn't know how to read the Bible. I then understood that I would learn here. I kept learning who the Holy Spirit was. I thought that you simply had to attend the church and you would have God and everything would be okay. No. I was delivered from all the spirits and the evil that I harbored from the past. All the grudges, sadness and resentment that I carried. I learned to empty myself of these things. As long as I did not go through this process and overcome, I wouldn't overcome in life. When I took things seriously and was delivered, my husband changed. He returned home. I was a different person. I treated him differently. I treated my children and my pupils differently. 
In other words, everyone around me was also blessed through me. I would tell the Holy Spirit. I would tell God because I didn't know the Holy Spirit. I would tell him, God, what does it mean to have the Holy Spirit? Everyone in church talks about the Holy Spirit and that I need the Holy Spirit. I also want to know you. I want to know you. With my endless search, I then became baptized in the Holy Spirit. To this day, I nourish the Holy Spirit in me. I am unable even to imagine or have the thought in my mind of losing the Holy Spirit, who gives me so much direction and strength. I lost many family members to COVID. In fact, I lost my husband. My mother and father passed away within months of each other. These were very sad moments because there were loved ones that I lost. However, the Holy Spirit comforts me. The Holy Spirit gave me even more than I had asked for. I have a house and a car. I raised my children in private schools. Both my daughters are married. Today, I am the grandmother of a wonderful granddaughter. They don't live near me, but we always meet and bring the family together. We come together and are united. We always support each other. I help out in the rod group. I go to prisons. I preach to the inmates. I help with their courses. I am immensely pleased to be a part of the Universal Church and its body of members, pastors and bishops. It is wonderful. This is my second home. This is my second family. The Universal Church is a school. Or more than that, it is a university. I was a teacher who didn't know how to read. I learned in the Universal Church how to read the Bible. I only regret having spent 10 years hearing bad things without really knowing the truth. So go there. Give ear to the Holy Spirit and you will be happy like I am happy today.